What's going on people? We're doing something a little bit different today because I, I really need to switch it up. Um, for the videos that have been going out, not, not including like the tournament vlogs because that's something that's totally different. But the videos before that, I'm posting three videos a week. It was Memorial Day weekend. I had to knock out some pond videos, so that's pretty much why I had like those repetitive pawn videos. And I apologize if you guys didn't like that. We're gonna bring a lot of cool stuff to kick into Vast TV very soon. So um, I got a lot of plans. Um, today I wanna just show you guys, you know, it just started raining outside, so uh, I'm getting my boat checked out at the shop, so I can't go on the lake. I'm really wanting to go on Lanier and then like make some cool videos, cause we need to switch it up. So uh, pretty much what I got going on, I'm supposed to go to California um, at the end of this month. And we're probably gonna have to switch that. Uh, just got the plane tickets and everything, but we're, we're gonna have to switch dates. And what else do I got? Beginning of July, I am meeting up with uh, all the SCAD, all the SCAD people that he uh, recruited onto the team. We're gonna meet up, we're gonna go fish Chickamauga, and um, we're gonna do that for two days. So that should be pretty cool. I'll get a lot of vlogs out for that. So uh, just a lot, just a lot of new stuff coming. And I also, since I'm not going to be able to fish like World Finals and all those tournaments, I'm going to uh, pretty much be traveling around. I'm going to try to travel, up, travel around a little bit. I kind of want to go to Pickwick, you know. I want to kind of go to Pickwick, maybe Kentucky Lake, because I really love those lakes. And uh, we can go mess around and catch us some good largemouth and get away from these spots for a little bit. But uh, also, that California trip is landing on that... Uh, what am I saying guys that California trip is landing on the world finals trip so that's gonna kind of you know it's, it's, it's gonna spice things up so I was gonna have to move it around that's why I can't fish that as well so let's go ahead and go upstairs I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes stuff that I do here I kick in their vest TV so guys this is my setup that I got going on I got a mag now um, I also have that's one of my old monitors See, I used to have just a Windows computer, and it messed up. It messed up, and uh, so therefore, how to get that? But while uh, before, in the meantime, when I was like messed up, and before I got this, I was just using my laptop, which is a Mac as well. Fell in love with it, so that's the reason I got Apple. So, different monitor. Honestly, I don't use it that much. Repping the white monster. I try not to drink this as much anymore. Um, but seriously, guys, this is what I mean. This is what goes on. So um, let's see. For all you guys asking, like, what editing software and stuff? What did I do? Hold on. There we go. What editing software? Uh, it's Final Cut Pro. And right here, this is actually a pretty decent vlog, in my opinion. Uh, I got a lot of different stuff and all kinds of stuff going on. So. I'm sure you guys have already seen that by the time you see this video, but just saying. So, this is where everything happens. Uh, that's for a meeting tomorrow. And that's the plane. That's the plane. I uh, have the schedule of the tickets. So, that's for California. But I'm going to sign up to reschedule them. So. Alright, guys. Here is pretty much where everything goes down. Um... All the kick in their bass TV clothing. I got new designs coming out. If you guys saw that on my computer desk, I drew out some designs. Should be picking those up in the next week. But for you guys that don't know that I sell clothing, I pretty much sell a little bit of everything. So I got t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, beanies, flat bills, regular hats should be here in a few days. Um, also with baits, I got the shakedown, which is a shaky head. Got the spoons, um, got the wobble heads, got the chatter baits, a little bit of everything. There's some cards that if I go to some events where it's like fan meetups and stuff, I can sign sign some of um, you guys want me to do that. And this stuff right here is pretty much every once in a while, like if somebody buys a lot of stuff, I'll just like go through here. Um, like that's my gum sponsor. Um, and I'll go through like here's an ARE hat. I'll just throw an ARE hat or a Kuma hat or whatever there is. Um, just stuff that I've got for my sponsors. Throw some Under Armour stuff in there um, and stuff like that. Also, I got some VT2s. We're going to be giving those away. Um, I really like them, guys. I really, really like them. But for 
a lot of people that don't have boots, it, I mean, of course you're not going to worry about that, but got some um, carpet decals. People have been asking about those, and so uh, finally got those in. And then we got some regular decals. So we got the long one and the regular one. So, but we're about to add stuff. Oh, I forgot. Rod socks. Or rod gloves. Right here. It's got the regular rod gloves, except it has my logo on the side. So we got those in blue, and we have them in green. Um, I ordered a lot of blue because that's what we sold out quick. But, like I said, we're going to be getting stuff in the next week. Um, and so if you guys please could go check out my clothing line and help support the nation. I actually have a page on Instagram. I know most of you guys know about it. Um, I named it Team KTB TV. And for everyone who wears all my gear, everyone who wears my hats, my who rags, my shirts, and their pictures, I'll repost any of the pictures. And if I take pictures with fans, I'll post it up on there. And so I'm showing the love, guys. I'm spreading, you know, I know you guys want to be featured on my channel or be featured all my social media so I feature you on that and it has around 30,000 followers on Instagram so that I get you a lot of um, publicity but um, yeah so if you guys could please go check out my clothing if you haven't already and um, it really supports me this is what's really getting me through you know gas insurance and everything like that and um, everything I'm having to pay but I mean it's really really helping me really supporting me you guys are the best for everyone who has bought stuff Thank you so much. I should be running some sales. I'll try to run a sale sometime, but I also forgot who rags. Almost forgot about that. I love the who rags. I actually got more. That's not many right there. I ordered like 300 when I first got them. And also some white t-shirts and sweatshirts. Also, this right here, guys, I know you're probably wondering what the heck is that? This is a blue screen. I know you guys are used to hearing like green screens, but I actually used to use this a lot. You know, I used to use it and later videos like probably two years ago I'd say and this is where I'd set up and I'd have this so you know it's just kind of hanging there I don't really use it much um, for if you guys don't know how a green screen or a blue screen works it's pretty much I'll stand in front of it and I can pretty much crop out and make it uh, transparent my background so and that can add anything in the background which is pretty cool but uh I don't know I kind of faded out of that it's pretty cool glide bait Scott Martin challenge. This is a Mark Daniels Jr. I was whacking them on. Then we got us a big spoon. See if we go to uh, Kentucky Lake Pickwick stuff like that. Especially Pickwick, we caught them on it last year. That'd be the money maker. All right. So since you guys don't know what extreme is, because I haven't really explained, so we're gonna go to extreme. I'll show you what I have at extreme, and pretty much. I'll explain what the business is as well as my dad's. So, um, I pretty much just parked the boat in the shop, have all my tackle, have everything there. So, I'm pretty much going to take you behind the scenes. I know you guys see it in the videos all the time, but I want to take you behind the scenes and show you a little bit of everything in there and um, really what, what's going on. So, let's go ahead, knock it to extreme. Hopefully, it don't rain. It is so hot out here, but it looks like it's going to rain. It was sprinkling earlier. That's all right. So guys, uh, for all you guys wondering like what happened with the tournament, got the vlogs going. Day three, no, day four, didn't even vlog. Day five, tournament day. Caught some small ones. My dad was sitting there throwing up. <laughs> throwing up. His, his stomach. Sorry about that. His stomach was just tore up, so he was going to the bathroom. He's schmedling everywhere. And you know, it just, it it was horrible. And so it was a two day tournament. We ended up not even seeing the best of days. Um, there was no way that my dad could have drove me the next day. There's no way. Um, it was 99 degrees, it was just horrible. Uh, that was our sixth day out there. So it was ridiculous, guys, it was ridiculous. But uh, was it our sixth day? It was our fifth day. So um, we pretty much left. My dad had the stomach issues and everything. And, you know, I can't, I can't help that. And literally, I mean, maybe I could have got my mom to drive the boat. She'd never drove the boat before. And this lake isn't a lake for to let her drive the boat. And I couldn't drive the boat. I mean, I'm 18, but they won't let me drive the boat for some reason. But trust me, if I could have drove the boat, that would have been much better. But it's all right. Um, things happen for a reason. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop by Perry's High Tech. 
um, where our boat's at before we go ahead and go to Extremist in the same business park. So I'm gonna go up here, look at the boat, and then we'll go up to Extreme. Hi, good luck. What's up, Perry? How you doing? How you do that fine design? My fingers. <laughs> All right, yeah. guys, with the legend, it's Andy Perry Bay. Murphy. It's the best boat mechanic around. But I don't know about that. But you're the best customer I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know what you say about that. One. <laughs> but seriously, guys, this is the best boat mechanic around, especially here in the Georgia area. Go check them out. Perry's High Tech. I'll leave a link below. Why don't you tell the world a little bit about yourself, Perry, what you do and what your background is, where you come from. Well, I've been in this business for approximately 42 years. Uh, I started out as a, as a young man, and I have uh, continued to try to improve the services that I offer. I uh, feel like you know we have the, probably the best service anywhere around in this area. What do you know about Yamaha? I know quite a bit about Yamaha. It's probably the... Uh, best motor that you can possibly purchase at this time. From year to year, you know, different motors are better than others, but mainly, uh, as far as the four-stroke engine goes, it's all Yamaha. Since Noah and Perry were stumbling, I'm going to have the big man jump in and take care of business over here. Well, Perry, no, if no you doubt. don't know Perry, you need to come down here and get to know Perry, because everybody loves him. We love him. He's been really good to Noah. He's been really good to our family. Everybody in our family loves him. And he's taking the best care of us we could ever ask yes, for. Yes, we love Perry. <laughs> we're, blessed, we're blessed to have good customers here. <laughs> boat's finally all clean, guys. It's not like there's still a lot of spots on it. Uh, Seminole really trash it up, to be completely honest. It's just, the water is really nasty, really muggy, really dirty. But uh, it's looking a lot better. But it's pretty much clean. Got to get everything just down packed, especially for when I go out of town. To the UPS guy from the dad, real quick. How you doing, man? This is for Steve. Yeah. Hi. Appreciate All right. That. No problem. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me set my keys down. We're here at Extreme. The boat is not in here. Like I said, it's in the shop. I'm um, getting some stuff done to it. But let's go ahead and let's turn on the light. So I'm pretty much just gonna walk you guys through. It's still a little dark. I think should come on uh, pretty good though. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the lighting's good. Um, so the light's still coming on. But uh, pretty much what we do here, guys. This is my dad's work. Um, extreme. So when I say extreme, that means my dad's work. Um, he owns a business called Extreme Heaters. He makes build heaters for uh, bigger boats, like marine boats, um, like carver yachts and yachts and stuff like that. Some bigger boats for in the winter. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what he has his shop for. He has the back that usually carries a lot of stuff. Right back here, um, he doesn't make everything back here. He has uh, a factory that does that. But um, so pretty much we have room for the boat. So we parked the boat in here. And uh, also, this is where I have all my fishing stuff. So the thing is, guys, I, I can't take all this stuff to college. I, I mean, it's just not going to happen. There's so much stuff. And... For you guys that don't know, I mean, my dad's allergic to fish, so he's not going to be fishing as much, especially if I'm gone. I mean, he might go fishing with some people, but he can't just, like, go out by himself. And I'm taking the boat to college. So, pretty much that's some of my old rods. Um, some of Trent's stuff, some of the older stuff. This is a big old rod right here, guys. This is like a... This is like a... It's like a shark rod. It's for big old swim baits. It's got a big old Komodo reel. The biggest rod and reel combo. It's ridiculous. But uh, got some Akumas right there. Most of them are in the boat. Um, hung up our rain suits. Have life jackets. Have a spare net. Those are spare life jackets as well. Um, got some more rod gloves. Got some line. Also have some spare some spare reels that I keep in there. It's also some of my older ones that I need to get rid of. Um, some stuff up there. That was for some giveaway stuff that I'm gonna I just kinda like threw together. So I'll start giving away a lot of that stuff. Um, here's all the lake maps that we have. We got a lot of maps right here. Tons of maps um, for all the lakes that we travel to. Um, here's some more giveaway stuff down there. Just a lot of different stuff. 
and see the thing is guys we have a lot of tackle and there's really no need for this much and i was talking to i was talking to scott martin about that the other day i was talking to scott and i was like man uh we got a lot of tackle he's like yeah yeah man you have no idea i mean he has like he has so much tackle but it's ridiculous i know it's easy to buy fish and tackle but seriously like when we first started getting into fishing there's a tackle shop that closed down um and we got everything like so cheap like it was ridiculous like a bag of worms that would normally be like five dollars a got for probably a quarter so we literally bought so much stuff so that's why i have so much giveaway stuff now and that's why i have so much stuff just laying around but a lot of this stuff is good like this right here this i got uh crawls um yeah that's crawl that's creature basing crawls this is some like jig trailers as in like rage crawls and stuff these i got cinco's and finesse worms right there this one I have some more finesse worms. Those are mostly robo worms. And uh, also have some minnows for drop shotting and stuff like that. Um, right here, got some soft plastic swim baits. Got a lot of flukes in there as well. On this side, got some like frogs and different creature baits right there. So, that's what we got going on the soft plastics. Oh, also this one. I got some more uh, crawls right there. And some like util worms, curly worms. Really tell worms, my bad, and uh, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take this crate down. Hey guys, it's the big crates right here. And this is mostly like hard baits. Right when I say hard baits, I pull up and they're swimming baits. But <laughs> this is all right. Those are soft swim baits right there. I don't know what what those are doing. Just chilling. Uh, that is like a fish head do box and some of those like chatter jigs. Got some crankbaits in there. This is not organized stuff. Like this is some of the stuff that we bought. Got some hair jigs. That's something that we actually use. Rattle traps. Jerk baits on the bottom. What else we got? Swim baits. These are like bass tricks. And um, swim baits like that that we'd use on those the lakes like Douglas and stuff like that. Same with this one. I mean, that's a huge box of swim baits. God, it's so hard to use so many of those that I'm not on those lakes too, too often. We got a guy that made us some as well, so we have a lot of them. All right, so going into this box, got some trocar hooks. Shout out to Oakwood Bay and Tackle. They hooked me up with two boxes of these, and these are, there's a lot. There is a lot of hooks in there, so big shout out to Oakwood. So, right here. Got some jerk baits. Some of the stuff that we bought as well. Got some hooks. Just all kinds of random hooks. More random hooks. Got treble hooks for place on like topwaters. Stuff like that. And a ton more hooks. Just standard regular straight worm hooks. Stuff like that. And then I got some swim bait heads right there, which will go on those Bastrick swim baits and um Shadowlicious swim baits. Then hopping over to this one. This really needs to stay in the boat, but that's my spoon box. I got the big spoons, got the small spoons. Let's see what we got. See, so we got the, got the small ones, got the medium ones, sexy spoons. Then we got the big Ben Parker spoon. That is monstrous. We also got those little jigging ones, which are really good. So, more crankbaits. Not too organized. More crankbaits. Not too organized. Some Stanford Lures crankbaits. This is uh, one of my old sponsors, and um, they kind of like fell out of the business. So these are really great crankbaits. These are uh, out, actually out of wood, um, cedar. That's more some Rapala stuff, Rapala. Some lipless crankbaits. Yeah, that, I about just cut myself. There's some more square bills. Some 6 xds and deeper diving stuff. Some square bills right there. So pretty much this box is just full full of hard baits, full of pretty much crank baits. I mean, yeah, I got a few like jerk baits and stuff here and there, but pretty much full of all crank baits. Also have the spoon box in there. We're gonna act like we didn't see that. And then right here is pretty much whole variety of stuff like this stuff i mean those are like one of my favorite color worms one of my favorite worms those are just some 
Um, it's the Magnum shaky head. Worm, that's really good. This is like some stuff that I will definitely be giving away as well. Um, just a lot of stuff that I really don't need. And you know, and you guys know like if I'm not using it, what's the point of it sitting around? So, I mean, I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff. And I want to give away a lot of stuff to you guys. Um, you guys support me enough, so. So, for that, I'm going to do a lot more giveaways for you guys. And um, maybe even like with orders, like say someone orders like a hat and stuff, maybe I'll start throwing like a couple bags of worms, free worms in there. Because I mean, I have so much stuff guys, like I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, there's going to be a lot of filming like this just because I'm going to be packing for college. I don't have to get everything, so it's going to be ridiculous. Then up here we kind of got, like this is a crate that I actually take out of town. As you can tell, I got some hats, some shirts, a little bit of everything in there on both of those. Um, but that one I usually take out of town. I got some stickers as well. Sponsor hats, my hats, everything. So if I see some fans, I'll kind of um, dig some stuff out of there and I give stuff to some fans that come up to me. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything that we got at Extreme. Um, I'm going to have to put those boxes up. But since we're on the topic of Extreme, uh, these new graphs from Lawrence. Big, 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 big. Shout out to Lorantz. Um, so we had, what we had on our boat is we had two nines and a 12. Um, Gen 2s. So now what we're going to have, I actually have the 3D structure at my house. So we're getting two nines and one 12. So the two nines will be in the dash. One 12 will be in the front. And these are actually Gen 3. So these are the brand new ones. This is the good stuff. So once we get all those installed, I actually have one um, Gen 3. 9 because one of my gen 2 9s was acting up a little bit so I put one of the gen 3s on so that's why I only have two right here so this is the 12 inch um or no these are both the 9 inch my bad um see that's pretty this is one of my old gen 2s so we're gonna have to just sell all those but big shout out to uh Lawrence and this stuff right here I just got trench stuff laying all, all over the place um but here's our HGS 12 and this is the gen 2 as well took them off the boat before you took them to the shop thank you guys so much for clicking on this video first of all you guys support me a lot and i can't thank you guys enough like seriously you guys really do mean the world to me and you guys support me so much throughout my life so um i'm gonna be doing more vlogs like this i kind of wanted to show this because this is something that people have been asking this is something that people have been wanting to see and uh so i was gonna bring it to you guys and you guys always ask what's extreme what's extreme i'm like I got you now. Now you don't have to ask. So um, definitely, if you guys want to check out some of my clothing, you want to check out some other stuff, uh, definitely click the link below. I have a link in my description um, that has my clothing line. So click on that. Go order you some stuff. Um, I'll be sure to throw some like gun packs and stuff like that in there. But thank you guys so much for the support. Any video suggestions, leave a comment below. Just killed a wasp. But uh Leave a, leave a comment below for video suggestions because I'm going to try to create a lot of new videos. I'm going to try to get out on different places and make different stuff for you guys so it'll be a lot more interesting. So please leave a comment below. Please give the video a thumbs up, guys. You guys are the best. Peace.